Hi again, folks, and thanks for clicking on this video. A quick one today that demonstrates how two ESP32 camera boards can be connected through a serial interface in a master-slave configuration to have frames captured from each, controlled via a PC running some Python code. I had been trying to get this to work using WebSockets using the two cameras and ran into problem after problem and just became impatient uh, to get something I could use to take stereoscopic pictures and do some computer vision uh, experimentation. I'll try to develop something more optimal at, at some point. There are two C code components that I'll walk through before running a demonstration. As always, I'll provide a link to all the code used here. That includes the ESP32 C code that we compile and upload using the Arduino IDE, and Python code that runs on a PC that actually communicates via serial interface to the master ESP32 camera board to trigger the frame grabs and transfer uh, images and store to file. Remember that you'll want to start with an example sketch for the ESP32 camera board that you have already run and understood. It's much easier to modify an existing sketch since it will already include header files and other dependencies. So first, we have the master ESP32 CAM board code. We start with the appropriate includes for camera. And next, we define TX and RX pins that we're going to use to interface to the slave ESP32 device. Those are the transmit and receive pins. These are GPIO pins that we're using for the serial interface. You want to make sure whatever pins you use on your board are free and uh, available. The important thing to note is that when you physically connect the pins from one device to the other, you're wiring the TX of one to the RX of the other and the TX of one to the RX of the other. It's also critical to attach the grounds of each device together. Trust me, if you want the serial interface to work, you need to have a common ground. Next, we set up the primary serial interface to the PC as usual. Then we set up the camera parameters, including resolution. I'm using QVGA resolution or 320 by 240. And I'm also using grayscale image capture. Since for the computer vision applications I have in mind, I don't need color and would prefer less data to deal with. We set up our second serial interface, serial two, which will use those TX and RX pins we defined to communicate with the slave device. Here we define the baud rate of 115,200. Now onto the main loop. We're waiting for input from the PC via serial interface for a command to trigger one of the two actions. First, there is the capture master command that will trigger this device to capture an image. It will then trigger an image grab on the slave device. It's important to do this temporally as close to the master image grab as we can so the images are synchronized. It's not a big deal for static scenes, but if there's motion, um, then we don't really get a meaningful correspondence between the, the two images. Now we transfer the image data from the master camera device to the PC via the main serial interface one byte at a time. The second action that gets triggered by the PC is the transfer of slave image data via this capture slave command. The master will tell the slave device to start transferring the image data it already grabbed and is holding. Similarly, we get data from the slave one byte at a time and write it to the PC as we get it. Now on to the slave ESP32 camera device code. We set up the camera configuration and serial interface identically to the master. Again, remember to connect the serial interface as we discussed and set up the camera resolution and color space the same way. Now to the main loop, we wait for serial data to be available from the master device uh, and we look for what command it's sending. If we get a cap image command, it triggers the slave to grab an image with uh, the camera and hold on to it uh, in frame buffer memory, as we already covered in the in the um, in the master code. 
And if we get a read image command, this initiates the transfer of frame data to the master. Again, this happens one byte at a time. I did find through some trial and error that we need to insert a small delay between bytes being sent out in this loop. Otherwise, the master will not capture all the data. And that's the quick rundown of the ESP32 code. I won't walk through the Python code because it's pretty straightforward and I've included comments. So let's run a demo. I'll run the Python code that establishes a serial connection with the master ESP32 board and sends command to capture the images and store the results to files. A separate file for master and slave, which of course correspond to left and right views. Because we're using a serial interface, it's really slow, but it does eventually get the job done. Once that's finally finished, uh, there is another Python script we run to read those files and display the results. And that's what we have here. That's all I had to share for today. Again, I'll provide a link to all the code used for this so you can take a look and experiment for yourself. Until next time, have fun tinkering.